Next on our curriculum support track, please welcome Anya Evmanova, Amy Hutchison, and Kelly Regan, George Mason University, Division of Special Education and Disability Research. Their presentation is titled, We Go Right, Writing Efficiently with Graphic Organizers. Hello, today I would like to share with you a technology-based intervention that we developed to support students with high incidence disabilities in essay writing. The tool has been developed and is now being refined with the support of two consecutive research and development projects funded by the Stepping Up Technology Implementation Grants from OSAP. Project We Got It, Writing Efficiently with Graphic Organizers, Teachers Integrating Technology, ended in 2018. And We Go Right, Writing Efficiently with Graphic Organizers, Responsive Instruction While Implementing Technology Efficiently, is currently in its second year. These projects address two major aims. First, we hope to improve writing instruction and essay writing performance for students um, with disabilities as well as students without disabilities, but those who struggle with writing. Second, in our work, we try to support teachers in efficient technology integration and data-driven decision-making in the area of writing instruction. In our developments, we relied on existing evidence that strategy instruction, use of mnemonics, word processing, self-regulated learning strategies, graphic organizers, UDL supports, video modeling, and data-driven decision-making can support students with disabilities during essay writing. During our first project, we developed a series of technology-based graphic organizers, or TBGOs, in three formats. A computer-based graphic organizer available in Microsoft Word, mobile-based graphic organizer app, and a web-based graphic organizer for Chromebook users. Now, in our current project, we are working on improving our TBGO for Chrome. Different versions of TBGOs support three essay genres. Persuasive genre, with and without a counter-argument, argumentative, and personal narrative genre. Although, in our current work, we're trying to focus on one of the hardest genres for struggling writers, persuasive, opinion-based genre. This is our web-based TBGO for Google Chrome. It has five parts. First, students are asked to pick a goal for their essay. For example, the goal might be to include three reasons and two explanations in their essay, as well as to use proper punctuation. In the second part, students fill out the table. Specifically, they brainstorm their ideas, organize them according to a mnemonic, write complete sentences, and check off the items on the self-monitoring checklist available in the last column. After the table is complete, students click a button to automatically copy and paste sentences or paragraphs they typed in the table into a complete essay. After using built-in text-to-speech to hear their essay being read aloud, students edit and revise their products. And finally, they complete a self-evaluation of their final product. In all TBGOs, we use the mnemonic ideas. This is an example of ideas for persuasive essay. I, identify your opinion. D, determine three reasons. E, explain a why or say more. A, add transition words as you go. And S, summarize. The ideas mnemonic is slightly different for other essay genres. Our TBGOs include several UDL supports that can help students with various abilities and needs. I already mentioned built-in text-to-speech. Students can click anywhere on the screen to hear text being read aloud. 
if students forget what ideas stands for or which essay parts should be included in a persuasive essay, they can hover over any text to see text hints. There are also audio comments built in, so students can hear what needs to be included in each part of their persuasive essay. Finally, there are various drop-down menus. For example, when students start writing complete sentences, there is a drop-down with different transition words for each sentence. One of our major accidental learning findings is that after choosing transition words from a drop-down menu, students continue to use those even when a TBGO is removed. There are also self-regulated learning strategies built in, such as goal setting at the very beginning of the TBGO, self-instruction with the help of mnemonic, text hints, and audio comments, self-monitoring, self-evaluation, and there is also a self-efficacy question at the end of the TBGO. Our newest version of TBGO Plus also embeds video models. Those include both how to use TBGO videos and content videos that model how to plan and write a high-quality essay. The video models provide ample opportunities to reinforce concepts of the writing process in a playful, creative, and engaging way. These are the topics of the videos, but in general, teachers can use how-to videos to introduce TBGO to students, and they use content videos to introduce different persuasive essay parts, such as topic sentence, reasons, explanations, summary, as well as introduce different writing skills, such as brainstorming, revision, and editing. Content videos are also accompanied by video guides, which offer teachers ideas for mini lessons or extension ideas in order to provide additional or remediation instruction across various essay writing tasks. Teachers have used these video guides for whole group instruction as well as for individual rem remedial activities with individual students. While you cannot really read anything on this screen, the newest version of TBGO Plus also includes a teacher dashboard where teachers can review the TBGO data as well as students' final writing sample and evaluate those using a rubric. The rubric is very easy to use. Teachers just click on the cell on the rubric for each step of the writing process. Now, after completing the rubric, teachers are asked to make an instructional decision according to the DDDM maps that we provide, which might include assigning students to re-watch a specific video or maybe pulling students for additional remediation lesson or additional activities. As of today, we've conducted research in 20 schools across seven school districts. We have done it in self-contained classes for students with high incidence disabilities, in pullout, and in inclusive settings in which all students participated. We have worked with more than 70 teachers, including general and special education teachers. The majority of them were language arts teachers, but we also had social studies and science teachers participating in the project. We have worked with more than 1,000 students. At the beginning of the project, uh, we focused on upper elementary and middle school grades. But based on teacher requests, we quickly expanded to students in grades as low as third and as high as 12th. Out of all those students, about 685 were struggling writers. Overall, we found that the majority of struggling writers increased the quantity of their writing, 
while all students with and without disabilities improve the quality of their writing after using TBGO. Also, given sufficient practice, students maintain their performance when the graphic organizer is removed. And more importantly, students love to use many of our features, such as choosing tr transition words from a drop-down menu. Writing is no longer a daunting task. Our TBGO makes writing fun. <laughs>